Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Julia Thatcher. It doesn't happen often, but when the Shockers play KU, it is a must-see game for Kansas fans. Yeah, and for Wichita State fans, this is the game circled on the schedule. KSN's Craig Andrus is here now to explain why, Craig. You know, some Shocker fans call this game the rivalry that never was. The in-state match almost never happens. Only 15 times have the Jayhawks and Shockers faced off on a basketball court. The last time was in the NCAA tourney back in 2015, and some longtime Shockers say it's about time. Loading up the bus in Wichita, Shocker fans going to Kansas City for what some call a rivalry that just never happened. I had the best fans uh, in the country, you ask me. Cheese Johnson, as a high school All-American, came to play at Wichita State where he averaged 22 points a game as a senior. He says a WSU-KU rivalry is good for the whole state. I think it's a good thing for Kansas to have Wichita State play KU, Wichita State play K-State, Wichita State play Oh, even Oklahoma. Johnson says in these times of changing conferences, in-state rivalries need to happen. You always want to have a rivalry so you can bring like the, the, your heart start pumping a little faster, you know, the fans start getting into it. As the Shocks prep for the number two team in the country, hopes are high not just for a win, but an in-state rivalry that could become a regular game. Probably for a couple of reasons, you know, get a chance to play the, the Jayhawks, uh, see the Shockers go up against the top 10 team and then also get to Kansas City during the holidays. The venue for the Jayhawks and Shocks is considered a neutral site at T-Mobile in Kansas City, where some say they have high hopes for a great game and a rivalry they hope is renewed to boost fan bases from the area. A good following from, you know, from Wichita, like I said, Wichita, KU, K-State, wherever their team is playing, it's a good um, fans following. Now of the 15 times these two have played, KU has won 12 times. And if you can't make it to KC for the game, you can watch it on ESPN. Tip-off is at 3 tomorrow. Greg Andrus, KSN News 3.